Ann, would you help me out with this one? Sure. All right, great. Go ahead and select any card that you like from the entire deck. Got it? Yes. Memorize it and show it to the camera. Perfect. Go ahead and just place it right there on top. And all I want you to do is cut the deck in half. Perfect, and just complete the cut. Great, so now your card is lost in the deck. I don't know where it is, you don't know where it is. Um, I'm going to try to just kind of sense out your card, but mm, it doesn't always work quite the way I want, and it's not gonna happen. But you know what? Uh, what's in a name? But I'll tell you what, I think your card might be a little bit more apt to try and find itself. Um, I know that probably sounds weird, but just bear with me. Um, could you tell me what your card was? It was a ten of hearts. It was a ten of hearts? Yes. And that's the first time you've told me your card. I haven't seen it. You put it away in the deck? Yes. T-E-N-H-E-A-R-T-S. No. You know what? It's your card. I wonder if maybe this would work better for you. Would you give it a shot? T-E-N-H-E-A-R-T -E -E And flip it over for me. S. Crazy. <laughs> What's in a name? <laughs> so this is another spelling trick. It's a great little effect. And here's how this one works. First thing I have to do is I have to find her card. Now the way I find your card is really simple. It's just a key card, right? I use the bottom card, the nine of clubs in this case, so that when she selects her card, I already know the bottom card. She selects a card, take whichever one you want, right? Show it to the camera, place it right on top, cut the deck in half, and when she completes the cut, the nine of clubs ends up right on top of her card. So all I have to do is, as I'm trying to sense her card going through the deck, I know that her card is always going to be right below the key card. All I do is cut it to the top. Now it's a matter of finding it through its name. So I have her telling me the name as if I don't know the card yet. What's the name of the card? It's a six of... A six of... Spades. Spades. A six of spades? You're sure? Six of clubs. It's a six of clubs? Yes. Great, it's a six of clubs. Not that I know. Um, so what's your card in? Six of clubs. Perfect. Um, S-I-X-C-L-U-B and S, and of course I know that's not it. But by putting it right back on and actually placing the cards that I've just laid out here back on top of the deck, remember because I've been dealing them into a pile, they're now in reverse order, her card is actually at the bottom of the pile because it was originally on top. So I place it right back on, so now all I have to do is justify her spelling out the card. And I do that just by reminding her, well, of course I'm not gonna be able to find your card. It's your card, it's bound to you. So why don't you try, we'll use a little bit of magic, right? And all I want you to do is spell out your card. S-I-X-C-L-U-B-N-S. -S.